So you're considering taking the insanity challenge, but there's just one thing on your mind before you actually do it. Can I do it if I'm a beginner? Well, today you're going to find out, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Kane and welcome back. So anyway, you want to take the insanity challenge. And of course, for the most obvious reason, well, to lose weight, of course, right? But of course, the only thing that's holding you back from actually doing it is that one small doubt in your head. You know, you've been reading through reviews online, people saying, no, you should do something else instead, or you should take this challenge, or you should do this workout instead. Or you've had people you personally know tell you to your face that you need to do something else because it's too hard. Well, that's all good and well said, but is it actually true? Can you actually do this workout despite being a beginner and get the results that you've always wanted? Well, before we get into that, let me just clear this one thing up first. You see, when someone says to me, I'm a beginner, or is that workout beginner friendly? Then I instantly relate that particular person to somebody who's never ever worked out a day in their life aside of course from the standard PE classes that you take during school. And especially if this person is the type of person that has a typical desk job, then you know that they're going to be absolutely out of shape and you know that they're going to be the sort of person that when they climb up just one flight of stairs, they're going to be breaking a massive sweat and they're going to be panting like they've just run the London Marathon. And if that sounds like you, then good. Because the first part of this video is specifically for you. But if it isn't, then keep watching anyway because I've got something coming up. Right, so now you know exactly what I mean when I say total beginner. And if you're that person, then it's going to go one of two ways. So you're either like that and extremely overweight, weighing say for example over 250 pounds, or you're on the other end of the scale where you still are overweight but nowhere near as much so for example probably in the range of 200 pounds or less but regardless to which of those that you actually are then the solution to your problem is simple yes you can do it as well but there's a catch now you know insanity is very hard of course you've seen that from the countless reviews online that you've read and of course that's no exception to you so do the workouts by all means, but keep this one thing in mind. You will need to modify all of the exercises in order to get you through the workout every single time. And you can do this in a couple of ways. So the first thing that I'm suggesting is that you can modify each individual exercise. So for example, when it comes to push-ups, and also you might want to think about taking it easy during the workout. So when they're doing the exercises on the DVD, obviously you won't be going as fast as them, and that's okay. You see, even I personally can't go as fast as those people on the DVD just to give you a perspective of it all. So basically, just go at your own pace and you'll be alright. Okay. So that clears that up if you're extremely overweight. But why if you're not so much overweight, but you're still a total beginner? Well, to be honest, this is where it gets interesting. You see, my advice is going to be the exact same, but since you're not as overweight, the difference is you can actually do a lot more than someone who is extremely overweight. The difference is, since you're not that much overweight, you can actually do a lot more than someone who is. And yes, at first it is going to be very difficult, but I can promise you that your fitness levels will rapidly increase. And yes, taking into consideration that the person who's 250 and over, their fitness levels will also increase just as fast, but it'll actually be easier for you to move around because you're not carrying as much weight. So for example, jumping for you will be much easier than someone who is, if you know what I mean. So again, take your time, modify the moves if you need to, and you'll be good to go. And at this point in time as well, you probably can't do push-ups either, but you'll quickly get stronger so you can count on doing regular push-ups very soon. To be honest, as a beginner, you're gonna notice some absolutely fantastic changes over the next coming weeks. You're going to see that from day one, you're not going to be able to hardly do anything, let alone keep up with the people on the DVD but progressing towards the end of the week on day seven and then moving forward to day 14, you're going to notice that your work output compared to day one is going to double, if not triple, 
comparing. And at that point, I say, keep going and dig deeper. Now, if you're considering yourself being a beginner, even though you've exercised before in the past, but maybe it's been more of a casual thing for you. So for example, maybe you've worked out for a week straight and then taken two weeks off before going back again. Or maybe you're just like me, who's exercised for years in the past, but taken an extended period of time off from training due for whatever reason, maybe an injury or an illness. And now you're saying that the time is perfect to get back into shape. Well, your body is technically equal to someone who's never worked out before, since your muscles and your endurance aren't as conditioned as what they once were. But this is also a valid point, and it should be an obvious one as well. Because if those of us who are overweight and who have never worked out before can do it, then you can definitely do it as well. Now, just like anybody starting out, I'm going to give you the same advice. Take your time, take a break if you need to, it's okay to do that. Modify the exercises if needed. Swap any exercises if you can't do them for whatever reason. And most importantly, have fun with it. Because after all, you won't stick to anything if you don't enjoy it. Alrighty, so let's recap. For a beginner, meaning somebody who's never worked out before, and regardless to whether you're really overweight or just a little bit overweight, then yes, this workout is for you. And I would suggest just making some slight changes if you need to in order to get through the workouts. But of course, every single week, modify less and less and less until you're doing them just like the people in the DVD. Also, if you know strangers to exercise like myself, then yes again, this program will 100% work for you. And just like mentioned before a second ago, take your time and go at your own pace. But don't let that be an excuse to slack off. Anyway, everyone, I hope today that you've got the answers that you were looking for. But of course, if you do have any questions regarding today's video, or for that matter, any insanity related issues that you might have, then you can simply post your question in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, if you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Well, until the next time, everyone, I'll see you later.